Hello, it's time to combine some animals in Combinimals. This time, we're going with a viewer suggestion from Samurai Sam Films of a flamingo and a slow loris. The portmanteau I came up with was Slomingorus. There's my refs. And I do two drawings again in this one, but this time the secondary is just a head so that we can see the details of the, of the head there. And then uh, I just sort of like a Oh, no. Surprised pose, even though you don't really see Solorises get all that shocked, but yeah, I guess I should have done more of like the whimpery, begging for food sort of look they always have on their faces. They like look up all the time. On the head, you can see how I, I kind of pivoted the eyes towards the front because the slow loris has very much in the front eyes versus the flamingo on the sides of their heads and also made the eyes larger because slow loris eyes are larger. The pupils are also that weird upside down teardrop shape. thought that was interesting so I definitely kept that instead of doing the tiny round pupils of the flamingo. Of course the overall shape of the head is very flamingo-esque with the because I kept the beak I didn't even go with any teeth. I'm not, I don't yeah, I didn't look up any skulls for slow lore, so I'm not sure what their teeth even look like. Probably should have done that to do a better blend, but anywho. And then on the body, I wasn't sure whether to go with feathers or fur, so I kind of did a, a vague interpretation, except for on the forearms and elbows, I did the feather tufts, which you'll see in a second. The hands of a slow lore are pretty interesting. You should look that up. It's crazy. They got they got the two thumb three finger thing going on like chameleons and koalas but like the second thumb is just like a little nub and they have tiny little fingernails too instead of claws on their hands unless the pictures I've seen of slow lores are just like pets and they trim their claws back which but it, it just it looks like more like fingernails because they're on on top instead of out the front also on the on the feet you can see extra claw there uh I did extra toes because of the mixing of the mammal and the burp. Like the flamingo only has three toes, but the little horse has more, so I did the four toes to mix it up. And then there's fur down the, like the like shin part, so that way it is more of a blend of a, the leg of the animal, and so then from the ankle down. That's the weird thing about birds. Their like knee is way up on their body, and then they have their shin and their ankle makes what looks like a backwards knee. Or I guess the ankle looks like a backwards knee, the shin and the foot, rather. And then they're just like standing on their toes all the time. I came up with Slomingorus as a portmanteau for this animal, but maybe Flamingorus would have been better with the F to keep the flamingo, but then it's like the whole word flamingo. I don't know. If you got a better portmanteau for this creature, please comment below. Let me know what you what you came up with. There's a lot of line cleanup in this one. I I feel like I was a little shakier than usual. I think I drank too much caffeine before attempting. In hindsight, I would have done the same color for the nose and the hands, so that way there was a sort of skin color theme going throughout the body of the creature. And like the leg part too, from the ankle down. A lot of times I don't think of these things when I'm just throwing it together. It's usually in the edit where I'm just like, oh, I could have done that. Or not edit, but like uh, this part when I'm doing commentary.
Yeah, Laura's pupils are weird. They have that upside down teardrop. Versus flamingos, if you've ever seen them up close. Every picture I've taken of a flamingo, their pupils are just tiny, little itty bitty circular pupils. I don't know what. Like, I don't know if they're nocturnal because you, know, you see them active in the daytime all the time, so I don't, I don't know what's up there. Oh, what's he looking at? <gasps> ah, it's a giant head. It will consume us all. Super fake films. We aim to entertain. Thanks for watching. If you have any combinations you might want to see me make, comment them down below. And if you could click on some thumbs, like or dislike, either way would be helpful feedback. That way I know if you like it or if you hate it. <laughs>